Uh, my name is Joanna, and uh, originally I'm from Poland, but right now I live in Tewksbury, Mass. I, I, I've been in the States before a few times, so it was, it's very, it's not that different. It's, the world is kind of a glo big global village right now, so. I came to visit my sister and kind of everything, uh, it was a coincidence. I was offered a job and, um, and I took the job and then later I met my husband and uh, I guess love doesn't choose, so. Well, Joanna is a, a senior um, who's going to be graduating in a, a couple months in the mechanic engineering program and she's working with two partners, Sarah and Luke, on this project and uh, so she seems quite excited about applying engineering to human needs, applying all that, and that's the idea of these service learning projects is that uh, students learn about engineering or whatever they're studying and applying those principles to um, projects that help people uh, more di uh, directly. The, the project is part of the, um, the, the Village Relief Project, which every year goes to Peru with Professor Duffy, and they spend some time in Peru f um, fixing people's um, or solving people's engineering problems. But our actual project is building that leg for that person. I'm part of the capstone team. I kind of see that. I want to believe that we do work as a equivalent team where we are partners. There's no like one project leader, project manager. We take care of everything together. We try to split the project up into different areas. Since we're working on a prosthetic leg, we broke it up into um, the separate components, like the top part, the, the knee section, and the foot and ankle. And my specific role is designing the ankle. Yeah, so this uh, young woman named Yabeth was 16 years old at the time, and she lost her leg four years prior to that. And, and, um, and so the students here designed and, and built uh, a prosthetic leg for her. And, and we t took it down, and two of the students working on the project went down and, um, and helped with the local doctors to fit the leg. So she's been using that leg and we've been making little repairs and, uh, and adjustments. But then it finally has been, um, uh, literally it, it broke. So we have another a group of three mechanical engineering students have designed and a, a local company has made the prosthetic limb, which you're gonna take down. She is 21 years old, she has a child. Um, she's currently going to hair design school, I believe. Um, I've never spoken with her. One of our group members or consultants of the group keeps in touch with her on a regular basis through telephone and email. She speaks Spanish, I don't speak Spanish. So Originally we were trying to get just anything um, on the donation side and we ended up getting her a very high quality prosthetic limb which would which many people in this country would use. So, Javeth is going to be getting two, two legs. One is a leg that is built by Hangar Corporation. Uh, they donated all the parts, all their time and services. And um, basically, it's, it's, it's a amazing leg. Uh, I think the, um, from what we, we were told, that a patient in the States would have to pay $8,000 for that leg. Because people there, about um, a third of the people in Peru, and half the people in the world live on less than $2 a day. So there's no way they can afford a prosthetic limb, which can, the average price of a prosthetic limb in the United States is $40,000. And uh, so that puts it out of reach of a lot of people in a lot of different parts of the, of the world. Every day she walks, she, it's like she puts the weight, she takes the weight, she puts the weight, she takes the weight. You're dealing with several, a couple different materials and aluminum and steel and fiberglass and due to the material properties of the fiberglass, um, it can crush and get damaged. There's also probably some corrosion coming from, from the sea breeze. She li lives close to the sea, so that's probably has some effect on how the, the metal is effect affected. Um, there might be some temperature. All of that is put together and all of that kind of makes it fail. 
But I think this one had something else than the others didn't. I think it had the, the kind of humanitarian part of it that is part of like the, to me it's like part of who, the, the definition of an engineer. Like engineers are there to help others to solve their problems and yeah, you can solve a problem by designing I don't know, a new chair, but also you can solve a problem by giving someone a new leg. So I felt like this was much better and I, I felt like it's gonna make me feel good.